ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, we got a little bit of the Doobie Brothers. You've been hearing me talk about Michael McDonald all this time. Got a little bit of the Doobie Brothers. And we're going to talk about taking it to the streets. Because sometimes that's where you got to take it. Come on now, Doobies. Tell them what it's like, what it is, what it ain't, what it isn't. And we're going to bring y'all down just a little bit. We do appreciate y'all, Doobies. You know. Sorry that all of my former groups that I listen to all the time are getting older and dying. Just dying. All of them just dying. Just, just, just one after the other. All right. Um. Tina Turner recently died, but I need all of you to pay attention to all of these singers and stars who have died this year, just this year alone, 2023. We're not even six months into the year. Just take a look at how many have passed away this year all by itself. Something is going on, but that's not what this video is about. Ladies and gentlemen, I did a video uh, update to the how I paid off my mortgage without spending a dime. Sorry, and the reason why it's doing this, I know why it's doing this, so we're just going to stop it. There's no reason for us to keep going through that. Uh, and I don't feel like changing it. So we're just going to deal with this right here for now. But let's get back to... I did that video because a young man had did a video and he had showed people he had paid off his mortgage without spending a dime. And he sent it to the same places I sent mine to. Now I sent mine to more places than he did. Why? Technically to let you know I was creating credits. But it's, a, it's another story. We're going to talk about that at a different time. But in 2010, there was a situation with my best friend at the time. And I felt the need to assist him. I simply told him, I will make this go away. It's not the first time I told that to somebody. I had no clue how I was going to make that junk go away. But it went away. So did our friendship, but it went away. Ladies and gentlemen, I did a video showing everybody every step I did. Every single step I did. Showed them every document I did. Didn't hide anything. Showed them everything. Everything! You can't find that video nowhere on YouTube right now. You can find the ones I did after that, um, but you cannot find the original, showing you all the original documents. Shame on them. I don't have it anymore either. So, I did that video, the update, telling everybody pretty much a lot of the things, whether the guy knew it or not, came from that video, how I paid off my mortgage without spending a dime. You'll see the postal money order in there because we did that later on that year. I showed people because we were helping people. So you'll see the postal money order. You'll see all of that stuff. Not taking credit for it. I'm just saying when I did it, I didn't get it from anybody else. This was based on knowledge and research that I had at the time. So I said, this is what he did. Whether he knew he, this is what he did or not. Now, hold on now. Not taking credit for his work. That's his work. I just know what he's not showing everyone else. And then he used... I don't like the code. The code is a piece of junk. Hold on. Give me a second. I got to open up this thing right here to show y'all something. Y'all, you Now, y'all just sit right there and eat y'all some cool glass and lemonade. I said eat y'all some cool glass and lemonade because it's got pelts in it. Hold on now. This is the section. Pay attention from where... Title 31, Section 3113 comes from gifting something to the United States. I don't believe you. Go ahead and take a look. Go to Cornell Law, go underneath, and you'll see it comes from the Federal Reserve Act. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's been there the whole time. This is this is what it originally said. This is uh, Title 12, Section 414. The Federal Reserve Board shall require the Federal Reserve Bank to maintain on deposit with the Treasury of the United States a sum of gold sufficient for the judge and the judgment of the Treasury Secretary for the redemption of Federal Reserve notes. That's when they were redeemable. Issued to such bank, meaning you, 
but in no event shall it be less than 5% of, of such deposit of gold, and shall be counted or included as part of the 40% of reserves here and after required. Here's the part that remains part of the code. Pay attention. The board shall have the right, acting through the Federal Reserve agent, to grant in whole or in part, or to reject entirely the application for Federal Reserve uh, Fed by the Federal Reserve Bank, any Federal Reserve Bank, for Federal Reserve notes. But to the extent that such application is granted by the Federal Reserve shall through its local Federal Reserve agents supply Federal Reserve notes to the bank so applying. Pay attention. So, let's talk, people, so that we can have a conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, gifting to the United States, you need to understand what a gift is. It's not going to change. There is, hold on, let me show this to you. Gifts of mercy. Stop listening. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you see Title 12, Section 3113 of the United States Code says that the Treasury, the government, shall receive gifts, says accepting gifts. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there is a phrase in the scripture known as gifts of mercy. Gifts of mercy is a common phrase. It is known to most people who understand scripture. So we're going to read what is spoken of just before the so-called Lord's Prayer. This is what it says. It says, take care not to practice your righteousness in front of men to be noticed by them. Otherwise, you will have no reward with your Father who is in the heavens. So, when you make gifts of mercy, 
do not blow a trumpet ahead of you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets so that they may be glorified by men truly i say to you that they have their reward in full but you when making gifts of mercies do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that your gifts of mercy may be in secret that your heavenly father or your father who looks on in secret will repay you now gifts of mercy you're giving a gift to the government now technically they can't refuse your gift as long as you do it for the public debt because you have vowed along with your forefathers here in the United States to give your lives and your fortunes for your fellow members that's why pay attention we the people of the United States in order to form a more perfect union establish justice and ensure domestic tranquility to provide for the common defense common defense and promote the general welfare that's where welfare comes from securing the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our prosperity to ordain and establish the Constitution so you promise to help each other you promise to help each other you promise to help each other well you can always give gifts to your brother now hold on let's let's make sure this is what what they're doing we're gonna go to Luke that was the Matthews, the sixth chapter, and this is Luke. Come on, Luke, where you at? Okay, Lucas. Lucas, I am your father. The 11th chapter, verse 30, 41. So Luke 11, 41. But give as gifts of mercy the things that are from within. This is the conversation about the whitewashed graves. Okay, just the, the washing the hands and the cups and the of the United States Code subsection 3113 comma I see that it documents that a person can give a gift to the United States comma, so long as it's designed to reduce the public debt, period. I have a mortgage that I signed that under law is property. And I'd like to gift my mortgage portion that I have a stake in to the United States. period the law holds that a debt is property comma and that the United States does accept debts as gifts comma could you please confirm this and provide at least two court citations supporting this conclusion question mark stop listening Ladies and gentlemen, here is the information you've all been waiting for. This works with mortgages, car notes, utility bills. This works with everything. That's why a utility bill gives you a year-long projection. Phone bills, every bill. Watch this. Debt is property. I'm waiting for it to start speaking because it does speak this one. Oh, I apologize for any confusion, but it seems there may be some misunderstanding regarding the interpretation of Title 31 of the U. Really? There's a yes. misunderstanding. C. Section 3113. 
Hold on, I gotta correct her. Give me, give me one second. Wake up. I did not ask. Wake up. Wake. I did not ask you if it was common. I asked you what was proper, comma, debt is property, comma, and that there is no prohibition of donating to the United States government a debt, even if it's in the form of a mortgage, comma, so don't correct me again, exclamation mark. Stop listening. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. There must be some confusion on the part of the AI system. It must have thought I was one of you. Lord have mercy. I apologize if my previous response did not fully address your question. Sorry, give me To clarify, one a second. debt, including a mortgage, can be considered property under certain legal frameworks. Aww. She says However, it's a, the process it's a, it's and feasibility of gifting thing. a mortgage portion to the United States Aww. to reduce public debt would involve complex legal considerations and may not be a straightforward or commonly practiced action. Aww. Commonly practiced? Aww. Now watch this. Hold on, y'all. We ain't finished yet. Y'all know how I is. Regarding court citations, I apologize for any misunderstanding. I'm gonna get rid of her, because, uh... Getting As on, an I AI you, language model. Bye-bye. You'll be a language model tomorrow. Go model that. All right. This is Bard. And we're going to use the light theme because I prefer the light theme. Okay? Yeah, there's something about... No, I can't say that joke. That would be too much. I, I ain't doing it. I'm not doing it. That, that Man, that would be the wrong joke. Sorry. I'm in that mood. I'm in the mood. Come on, hurry up, Bard. What you waiting on? Oh, he's having a hard time because of the question. Woo wee! Hold on, we gon' we gon' we gon' let him do this. I'ma pause y'all for a second. Y'all ain't gotta wait with us. Ladies and gentlemen, for asking such a question, this is what the system did. It's claiming that I cannot reach the site anymore. It cycled twice. Hold on now. I don't play games like that. 
so I decided to ask the same question in a different one and this is the exact same thing it did it says check my internet connection so hold on let me check my internet connection since I was able to get every place else Mm-hmm. <laughs> 